today's presentation is Tai Chi and Qi Gong. We have Diane and Patty here, so let's welcome them. Thank you. Welcome everyone to Qigong and Tai Chi. We're going to have, this will be a little um, audience participation. You can do standing or sitting, anything that you want. We will go, th I'll give you a little bit about my background. I didn't start Tai Chi and Qigong until I was 62 years old. I found myself a cashier, I was a cashier in a casino, listening to the noises, the slot machines in my ears. I stood for eight hours a day. I was exhausted at the end of the day. I was tired when I started it. And I thought, I have to do something to improve my life. I wanted to work until I was 65, and that would have been to 2004. So I was a martial artist when I was 28 to 34, I did karate. And I didn't want to get kicked, I didn't want to get punched, and I didn't want to kick and punch anyone. So I looked up Tai Chi, and my very first class was on a Monday after work. I was a bus, bus I took the bus, I didn't have a car. The minute I stepped into that building, the people were so relaxed and friendly. I went to a Tai Chi class at 5. I went to a Qi Kung class at, uh, at 6 o'clock. And then I went to another Tai Chi class at 7 o'clock. This is after I worked all day. And I felt more energetic than when I got up in the morning. And my husband said, when I came in, what, where have you been? What happened <laughs> to you? Because it makes me feel so good. So I'm, the life changes that I found, I weighed 140 pounds. But this was a little much for standing on my feet all day. I'm only five foot tall. So I thought, well, maybe I have to go on a diet. And I talked to the Sifu of the school, and he says, just practice. Just practice. And my attitude changed. I increased my activity level. I was having, I turned, I changed to be having fun with everything I did. I ended up loving, and I still love what I do. I left the casino at, in 2004, and I started really training. I started teaching at the Las Vegas Athletic Club in 2005. Then I started teaching at last, um, UNLV, the university, 2011. Most of my people there are 18 to 30. Enjoy, I enjoy now just helping people. I've worked with, <laughs> thank you. I've worked with people with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke victims, replaced hips, replaced knees. I don't care how old you are. I've worked with children as young as three years old. And most of them were six and seven at a behavioral bilingual uh, organization. I saw so many marvelous changes in, in, throughout the days that I have been teaching. The benefits of qigong, qigong for people that don't know what qigong is, qi is the Chinese word for energy. Gong means movement or work. I never do tai chi without doing qigong first. The benefits, you can see here, that the, I did lower my blood pressure. I lowered my cholesterol. I became more flexible than I was. Uh, it's, it improves cardio, respiratory, circulatory, lymphatic, and digestive functions. And I'm not kidding. Every part of your life, my life, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> I just hope that I inspire you to make some positive changes in just the little habits 
that you do every day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I just did tell you what <laughs> Qigong was. So we, and energy is free. We get, cultivate and get energy from the two greatest forces in our world. I call them Papa Universe and Mama Earth. And we bring it into our bodies. We cultivate it, bring it into our bodies by opening the crown of our head and bringing it into our Dan Tian. This is your core, your center. If you take your thumbs, place them in your belly button, lay your hands straight down, that is your Dan Tian, your sea of vitality, your storehouse for energy. We bring the energy up from Mother Earth through the bottoms of our feet to the crown of our head, and we push it all the way down. The first, um, yeah, there we go. We're going to start with the three chi awakening exercises, and you can continue to eat your lunch, or you can, you can join me. You can stand, or you can sit. If you stand, your feet should be shoulder distance apart. Give yourself a little room to reach out like this. I always start with the three chi awakening exercises. You can sit or stand, sir. You don't have to stand. I'm working on it. Okay, well, we'll, we'll wait till you get it all done. <laughs> Open the palms of your hands. Inhale, just like you gather a cloud from the sky. As you exhale, Pull it down, let it cover every fiber of your being. Inhale, pure, pristine energy. Exhale, negative, stagnant energy. Inhale, peace, calm. Exhale, tension, stress, let it melt into the earth. Inhale with every cell of your body, feel it go into the marrow of your bones and exhale to every pore. Guide the energy down the front of your body as you exhale. Guide the energy down the back of your body as you exhale. Open the crown of your head. Guide the energy through your head, through your body, out through your root chakra. Push it to the center of the earth. Use your arms like a pump. Lead with your wrists. Bring the energy up through the bottoms of your feet to the crown of your head and push the energy all the way back down to the center of the earth. Inhale, pure, pristine energy. Exhale, negative, stagnant energy. Inhale, peace, calm. Exhale, tension, stress. Let it melt into the earth. Inhale with every cell of your body. Feel it go into the marrow of your bones. Exhale through every pore. Inhale up the front of your body. Feel the energy go around your head. Exhale down the back of your body. Inhale up the back of your body. Feel the energy go around your head. Exhale down the front of your body. Inhale straight up through your root chakra to your crown and push the energy all the way back down to the center of the earth. Now form a platform with your hands. Take the energy from your Dantian up to your heart. Hold your breath. Push your arms out. Now see a shield of golden chi all around your energy field. See this golden chi protecting you against noises, smells, anything in the environment, anything you don't want in your personal space. Put your shield up wherever you go out with people. Do anything that you don't want into your personal space. Extend your heart with peace and love with, for all mankind. Now, those three exercises always prepare me for Tai Chi. And what, what they do is they activate your life force within your body. So I'm going to show you what it feels like when your life force is activated, which you just did. Extend your arms straight out. Take your left hand palm up. Now open and close your fingers just as fast as you can. 
And this in itself is a good exercise if you're on the computer. Now turn your hands over. Just open and close your fists. Now take your palms, put them together, rub them, get them hot, fast. Get them so they burn. Now shake, shake the water off your hands. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now feel the buzz. Do you feel that buzzing sensation in the fingertips, in your fingertips? That's your life force. You just brought it to the surface of your skin. I do these exercises sometimes three, four, five times a day. Whenever I feel myself losing energy, I act just activate it. Now I'm getting a little older. I'm on, I started Tai Chi when I was 62, now I'm 76. And I hope to practice and teach till I'm 100. UNLV will not fire me <laughs> for being, <laughs> until I cannot do my job, but not because I'm 100 years old. They'll let, me, they'll let me teach, and that's what I love to do. So Tai Chi is referred sometime to moving meditation. The thing about Tai Chi's form, it's so slow. The slowness develops awareness. The lightness is easy for the movements for anyone. You can be, you can be skinny or heavy. My sister-in-law was close to 400 pounds. I taught her Tai Chi and Qigong. She did it every single day. Her life just got a little short at 65, but she was the happiest, funnest person I think I've met in my life. She just was a little heavy, and she says, hey, this is Maggie. Good. Love yourself. Be who you are. Don't try to be anyone else. The bal you will improve your balance. Everyone improves their balance when they do Tai Chi. Tai Chi will calm your body, calm your mind. I've seen so many changes in people's mental attitudes, emotional, emotionally and physically, that it inspires me to continue on with this. It is a martial art. Tai Chi is a martial art by which we yield and redirect the oncoming force. It's on the, it's like, it's yin and yang. If you, the yin is cool like the moon, the yang is warm like the sun. The slow moving movements in Tai Chi will align your body. What, if people ask you what style this is, this is yang style Tai Chi I teach. This is the best style for to improve your posture because we visualize a golden rod through our bodies. So we stand upright. Most of what we do is circular. It's easy to, Tai Chi is easy to do or you can just do the Qigong. But moving, moving is the best thing you can do for your body. Now, it works internally with both external and internal benefits, and I've seen this happen within myself, being that I lost weight, I feel good all the time, actually. So to show you what Tai Chi is, we'll do the Tai Chi form, and then we'll, I'll try to show you how to do some small, some basic movements and walking steps. But you can all be seated now. Yes, yes, you can be seated now. Diane will put some music on. This music is for this form, takes about five minutes. It's very slow. So the movements you will see me doing are extremely slow. Push 
parting the brown horse's mane three times.
And this, this simple little form, I do this every day, sometimes three, four times a day. It's simple, it's easy, you don't have to kick. Anyone can do these exercise. It's just moving exercise sizes. I'm going, if you want to stand, if you want to join me, this is fine. We're going to do the first posture of parting the wild horse's mane. <coughs> Embrace the moon. You just turn your waist, left hand underneath, right hand on top. When you turn your waist to the center, you bring your left hand up to your left cheek, your right hand to your right hip. When you're in the center, turn your hands over. Then turn your waist to the left. Now you have your left hand on top and your right hand on the bottom. <coughs> Right hand comes up, left hand comes down, parting the wild horse's mane. One hand up, one hand down. When you get in the center, just turn your hands over. This is the easiest posture we have, parting the wild horse's mane. Now you will notice you're turning your, your body, you're turning your hips, you're turning your shoulders, you're moving your arms. This is all a lot of people need, is just to move. Very gently, the exercises are very gentle. gentle. Now we're gonna do another exercise called, and in a standing, we're just gonna stand stationary in one spot. This is called repulse the monkey. So you hold the world. Bring your right hand to your right ear. It's kind of like swimming. Bring your left hand in, your right hand out. Hold the world. Now bring your left hand to your left ear. You got it, don't you? Repulse the monkey. Now you're turning your waist, you're getting your shoulders, you're getting your hips. Repulse the monkey. You don't have to do it exactly correct. It doesn't matter if you mess it up. You're moving, you're turning your waist. You're doing very well, so it doesn't matter. That's repulse the monkey. One more posture that I will show you. Take your right hand, right from your right hip, take your left hand in the center of your chest. When you bring your right hand to your right ear, you brush your left hand over your left knee, which I forgot to tell you to put your left foot out. So, <laughs> And it always helps, it. see, it, it doesn't matter, I mess up too. Brush, knee, and push. Then do it to the other side. Bring your left hand up, your right hand down. Brush, knee, and push. I guess you don't have to change your, your legs. This is another simple posture. You're just moving, this is all you're doing. Brush, knee, and push. Now to move, we do this is the exercises that I show you. It's called walking steps. Your right foot is 45 degrees. Your substantial leg, the leg you have your weight on, is always 45 degrees. You bring your opposite leg. This, we call this a T-step on the ball of your foot. If you can go on the ball of your foot, if you can't, don't. Just do that one. <laughs> Just put your foot down. You extend your left foot, that's a cat stance. If you put your heel where the ball of your foot was, heel stance. Push forward, bow and arrow. Now yield back, Tai Chi always yields and redirects. You turn your entire hips and knees, your knees are always over your toes. Push forward, yield back. Step up to a T. If you can, and if you can't, you just stay in one spot. 
These are the walking steps that you do when you move in Tai Chi. These are the walking steps I just did with the, po with the postures. Then if you're going backwards, you pick up your right toe, put your right foot back, and pivot on the ball of your left foot and transfer your weight. Pick up your opposite toe, step back, and pivot. These are the, the easiest, or these are the basic steps in Tai Chi. You're playing time. Pardon me? I do. Okay. Well, I have plenty of time. I was so worried about the time. <laughs> that, but anyone can do Tai Chi. Like I said, my sister-in-law was a very large woman, and she learned, she was just so graceful because she did it every single day. It enhances your quality of life if you practice every day. The three chi awakening exercises are the most important. I do those before I do any Tai Chi. Um, the play the pipa, you strum with your right, then you strum with your left. You're turning your waist, bring the side of your hands up, now these are the simple little exercises that you can do just standing in one spot if you can't walk, if you can't get out of a wheelchair. It doesn't matter. You can just do these upper exercises with the upper part of your body. It's strum the pee palm. Like I said, this is a martial <coughs> art. Diane, I know you. we didn't do this, but would you want to come up so I can show you? <laughs> Sure you do, sweetheart. <laughs> sure you do. Yeah. Every, every movement that I did in this form can be made into a martial self-defense move. If Diane puts her hands on my shoulders to attack me, she almost knocked me over. I just bend my knees and push her away. And I have taught people self-defense that work. But you're not done yet, Diane. Okay. <laughs> as old as 100 years old. In a wheelchair, using a walker, using a cane. Cane is a great. If people know how to swing a cane, that's really good. If people know how to pick up their walker and shove it at people, that works too. Wheelchairs are good. People can get out of the way. You, amazing things people have done in a wheelchair. So this is self-defense. I do teach Tai Chi combat at UNLV, and I have young men that some are six foot five. It doesn't matter. You can yield and redirect to any oncoming force. Another one. When we, she said single whip, single whip is where you strike the throat and then just come right up under their chin. So if someone's coming in at you and you're in sitting in a wheelchair or sitting in a chair, boom, you're out there before they come into you. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. And, this is the martial aspect of Tai Chi. These are the things that can keep you safe. Anyone can do these, these little movements. The beginning form is opening the hands, gathering the energy, and bringing it down. I step out with my left foot. Commencing the form, bring the energy up from the earth, push the energy down, back down to the earth. T-step, now I'm going to do parting the wild horse's mane three times. You always have to yield and turn. I turn my left foot out, I step up to a T. Step out with my right foot, parting the wild horse's mane. Yield, 
step up, step out. Now this move is White Crane cools its wings. I turn my hands over and I turn my waist and bring my right foot up. White Crane cools his wings. Turn my right hand up. Now you chop with your waist. Keep your hand right there and chop. Bring your left hand up, chop. Brush knee and push. The left hand comes straight into the middle center of your body. Right hand is right off your right hip. Put out your left heel. Brush knee and push. You brush your left hand over your left knee. Yield. Step up to a T. You ladies are doing well, and this is, you've never done it before. Brush knee and push. Yield, step up, step out, brush knee and push. I'm probably going to go out of their line. Play the peepaw, strum with your right hand, strum with your left hand, put your left heel out and strike. Repulse the monkey. This is where you hold the world, bring your left hand, right hand to your right ear, step back, it's just push and pull. Repulse the monkey. We do this four times. Bring your left hand to your left ear. Push forward. Bring your right hand back. Now pull. Circle with your right hand. Put your left heel out. Grab the bird tail series. Your left hand comes straight up. Turn your waist. Ward off. Hands turn over, pull. Circle with your right palm, place it on your left wrist, press. Separate your hands, roll back, and push. Now I'm going to do it on the right side. Just repeat, ward off, pull. Circle, press. Roll back, and push. Now palms out, left hand on top, pivot on the heel of your right foot. Diane, you got something going here. Single whip, your left hand comes to your, to your dantian or your, your side. Pivot and strike up, form a crane speak. That's all five of your little fingertips together. T-step and bring your left hand between your elbow and your wrist. Step out, throw the guy right over your left knee, that single whip. Wave hands like clouds. You bring your left toe in, bring your left hand up. Wave hands. One. Two. We do it three times. You're just waving hands and going back into single whip. High pat on the horse's head. You poke in both directions. You bring your right foot up and you bring your right hand up. Take high pat on the horse's head. You put your left heel out, strike up. Put your left toe down. I said it wrong, but I do that all the time. Circle your right hands on the outside. When you lift your elbows, your elbows lift your right knee. And you don't have to go high. I don't even have to kick. Just put your right heel out. If you're unsteady, you just don't kick. I don't kick anymore. Golden wind fills the ears. And this is somebody's attacking you. Oh, you just hit them in the temples, and <laughs> that works too. You know? <laughs> then transfer your weight and then kick to the left side. Elbows bring your left knee up and kick. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Reach out with your right hand. Make a crane speak. Put your left heel down. 
Now snake creeps down. Your right hand just makes a circle as you pivot on your right heel. Your left hand turns out and traces down your left leg. Toe out with your left foot, left elbow over left knee, <coughs> stand up. Now Golden Rooster stands on his left leg. All you have to do is bend your right knee if you can't pick up your leg. Put your right foot down, pivot on the heel. We pivot on the heel or the balls of your feet. Bring your left hand up, bring your right knee up. Snake creeps down the right leg. Toe out, Golden Rooster stands on his right leg. Fair Lady works the shuttles. You embrace the room, embrace the moon. Right hand comes straight up when your right heel comes out. Fair Lady works the shuttles. Then I make a T-step. Fair Lady works the shuttles to the left. Take a half step up. Now bring your arms down and lift your left heel. That's a cat stance. Dive for the needle beneath the sea. Cross hands, fan to the back. Transfer your weight to the right. Toe in with your left foot. Make a fist with your right hand. Back fist, kick. Bring your left hand up and your right in your left foot. Deflect and punch. Apparent close up. Toe in, bring your right foot parallel. Now pick up your tiger. Return to the mountain, step in, and seal the chi to your dantian. And everyone seemed to do that pretty darn good. So I will take some questions. If there's any questions that you have, I'll be glad to answer them. <laughs> I, no, I have not been asked to teach here. I just do, do this as a um, once a year thing. We did it last year and I'm doing it in January. I teach at the Las Vegas Athletic Club on 215 and Eastern and I teach at UNLV twice a week. And as I said before, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little older now. I'm going to be 80 in four years, so I, <laughs> I hope to keep teaching, and I do have some private students that I teach, but I do not teach at this institute. Any other, any questions? How long does it take you to learn just the basic core that you did? That, that 24 form took me about three months of going to school. I went to the Lohan School on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three days a week after work. And then on the days, on Tuesday and Thursday and the weekends, I just took like an hour out of my day, half hour in the morning, half hour at night, and practiced. It's anything you do, you have to practice. You have to do it. One thing I want to go over is healthy breathing. Tai Chi, if you take your thumbs and place it in your belly button, if you do nothing else, try to abdominal breathe throughout your day. When you inhale, expand your abdomen. When you exhale, contract your abdomen. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Breathe. This is what helped me to relax because in the job that I was in, if I was frustrated, there's people angry at you. You just have to take care of yourself by breathing and relaxing. And another thing I did is everything's fun now. My whole darn life is fun. I have fun. I have fun no matter what I do. I do things three ways: with joy, enthusiasm or acceptance. Most of all the teaching is joyful. Most of my learning, which I'm still learning, I do with enthusiasm. With acceptance, 
cleaning house and, and cleaning toilet bowls, that's acceptance. <laughs> I do, I, I have tried to make that fun, but somehow I haven't, so I accept the fact that cooking is fun, but some of these things are not, I, I just accept that I have to do them, and then I don't get ag agitated, I don't get nervous anymore. When I need energy, I just gather the energy from the two greatest forces in our world, the universe, Papa Universe and Mother Earth. Any any questions? Any anyone else has a question? Could you show the exercise again? Where you kind of like awaken the chi. Oh, feeling the chi. Okay. Do you want me to go through the three these or just feeling the chi? Okay. All right, if you want to feel your life force inside your body, you just put your arms out, take your left hand palm up, open and close your fingers just as fast as you can. This is fun to do with little kids. Kids love this. Then turn your hands over, and it's good if you're on the computer. You loosen up your fingers. Then press your palms together. Now go quick, fast as you can. Pressure, get them hot. Just get them burning. Then shake water off your hands. Shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now stop and feel the buzz. Feel, you feel that tingling? That's your life force in your body. Mine is always going, man, now. <laughs> because I've learned that life is precious every single minute of every single day, of every single breath I take. I have just a good time. And it's helped me health-wise, <laughs> attitude-wise, it's just a good way to live. It's just a fun way to live. Anything else? Any? The people that are here have some notes and pamphlets and handouts. Everything is explained there. How to do the, the three chi awakening exercises, even how to do the walking steps. Pardon me? Do you ladies have any questions from Param? Where, where is that? No, Who? no, no, thank you. You're very well. Oh, you're in Param. I don't know who you are or where you are, but I love you anyways. <laughs> and I, I hope that you got a little something out of this little demonstration because Tai Chi has literally saved my life. It's, it's helped me. Now I don't think of getting old, and 77 is coming up this year, and I'm loving it. Now I just celebrate every day that I can, that I can be playing around with life. <laughs>